The first teaser trailer and poster for the upcoming Vin Diesel film, The Last Witch Hunter, have hit the web. The film also stars Rose Leslie, Elijah Wood, and Michael Caine, and is scheduled to hit AMC theaters on October 23rd. John Byer saw the new poster and trailer for The Last Witch Hunter. It feels a little paint by the numbers, but surprisingly enough, I'm going to buy it. It had a cool enough... Look, I don't know. I was expecting to not like anything I saw from this project. I'll be dead honest with you. But I watched the trailer. It's like a little paint by the numbers, but it feels cool to me. I'm, I'm curious about it. I want to see it. It's not nothing that we haven't seen before, but I will say this, though. How many of you guys, when that opening shot of the trailer and he's going over the Himalayas, all you could think about is, I wonder if this is just a salvage shot from that failed Hannibal movie that Vin Diesel <laughs> was trying to right, do for yeah. like 10 years. Maybe that's it. But but honestly, I, I kind of dug it, so I'm going to give it a buy, Schnepp. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. There was like maybe five seconds of I, Frankenstein in that trailer where I was like, <laughs> what is going on? But most of it had a really cool kind of gothic Constantine flavor to it. Yeah. I like I like the idea of Vin Diesel kicking uh, vampires and witches' asses and all kinds of, you know, weird, creepy crawlies is like, I'm going to hunt you down. <laughs> I was like, all right, it's about time Kolchak, the Night Stalker, but it's Vin Diesel and he's like a badass. <laughs> That's when I, by the time the trailer ended, I was like, all right, I like this. I would, I didn't, I was with you. I was like, yeah, witch hunter, whatever. That's how I felt about it when I first heard about Where's it. Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, when did they pop I was in? like, yeah, go eat a cookie or something. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm not, you, know, you haven't sold me on it. So I, I'm sold. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it as well, but I it, it's like I never would have thought all three of us would no, buy it but, when this first came no, out. But I'm not I'm not super buying it because I just, I just want to go back in time and watch when Vin Diesel threw Nicolas Cage out of the room because you knew Nicolas Cage was, must have been attached to this at one point. This seems like a Nicolas Cage movie, right? You seem even see Andy Samberg. How was I not in this movie? Um, but the movie doesn't look like anything special. It's just that there's something about Vin Diesel in these types of movies to where you're watching it and you go, you know what? The guy is that he's not the action star that you want to watch do stuff even right. regardless of what you thought of riddick you went you watched it because he's he's got that charisma you want wait a second you didn't like riddick i liked riddick right. but I'm, but a lot of people did no, um i, I actually, didn't uh, yeah really? see, a yeah. lot of people didn't like riddick. i love I, but i actually did like riddick right. um and anyway so to to watch there's there's nothing particularly to it like you guys said that you haven't seen before but when you're watching it you're going okay maybe vin diesel can bring something a little different because his fighting style is going to be different different than nicholas cage's yes. you know oh, yes. nicholas cage has done this movie about 57 times right. um so <laughs> it, it, it could be a train wreck but why not you know what the, what's really cool is i see vin diesel doing this more and more is that and i think maybe working with the rock in a couple of films has done this we see vin now embracing and playing a lot more to his strengths mm -hmm. like seeing him as a badass and kicking ass and these great you're going to be hunted you know <laughs> vin, those kinds yeah. of lines with that voice of right. his that he's he just fires on all cylinders when he's embracing that and doing that and i think that's what pushed it over the edge for me well he's taken over for what stallone and arnold used to do back in the day. yeah i mean he it's him it's yeah. the rock yeah. it's them. Those yeah. are your big action stars, and hopefully Jeff Speakman makes a return. Who but, is? Who, <laughs> maybe he's the Charles Bronson of the group. Jeff I'm trying Speakman. to like. Who's Charles Bronson, Bronson of this? Yeah. Of this Leslie group. Nielsen. 